baby, here we go again, whoa! You guys know I love me some space and I love me some aliens. Put those two together and what do you get? Exactly what we've been looking for, their existence. Now it is important to remember, technically speaking here, anything found on a planet other than the world could be considered alien. Given that the definition for alien is just that. As per Merriam-Webster's fourth definition for alien, referring to the kind we're speaking of, of course, I quote, coming from another world, which means if we found an organism or a plant, an insect, animal, or an intelligent species, they would all technically be considered alien. And that's still pretty rad if you ask me. Yeah, rad. So groovy, dude. I'm just saying aliens, you know, that aren't always like the things that probably first come to mind when we see them in media and comics and such. That's what we might explore, you know? Not like the big green things with the big eyes, but Maybe just like a little insect, I don't know. Today in LBQ, we're asking you, what if we found alien life on Mars? Aliens, baby, let's go! Make sure to smash that like button and let's get into it. Now, as you likely know, we've been studying Mars for quite some time. In fact, our first successful landing on Mars dates back to 1976. And over the years, as our technology has continued to improve, we've only learned more and more about the big red planet. Now you guys may want to sit down for this because what I'm about to tell you is likely going to make you rethink everything you thought you knew about evolution. You know that guy Darwin? He's an idiot. No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> there are theories that life originally started on Mars and then it made its way to Earth, say through an asteroid. So in a sense, technically speaking here guys, we could originally all be from Mars. I mean, not humans per se, but what we've evolved from going way back could potentially have all started on Mars. And that in itself is wild. What I'm saying guys is technically we could be aliens. So that's pretty cool. Not sure how likely it is, but it's still very cool. Now, I'm not going to just throw that at you and not back my claims, so let's look at the research done, which led some scientists to explore this wild idea. A team of researchers led by Benton Clark from the Space Science Institute proposed the idea that life may have originally started on Mars rather than Earth. Their findings led them to conclude that the chances of this happening are just as likely or even more likely than life originating on Earth simply because Mars has all the requirements necessary for life in the first place. Again, we're not talking about a thriving human society like ours, but more so any form of plant or bacteria, you know, living things that aren't living the way we are, that we know of. I mean, maybe, maybe plants have like social media. Imagine that. The scientists provided four main points as to why they believe what they proposed. For starters, given where Mars is located, it would have likely brought in more organic material from space rocks that ended up on the planet. Number two, sulfur, which is a very important element for any living thing, is more common on Mars than it is on Earth. As you can see, we're making a case for why Mars is clearly the superior planet. This next point, which I feel is very important, kind of seals the deal. Mars was actually much more habitable than Earth was for a longer period of time, due to the fact that Earth was hit by a massive asteroid of sorts, which led to the creation of the moon. This occurred approximately 20 to 100 million years after Earth had formed, and the scientific community has concluded this would have sterilized the Earth. And the fourth and final point, which I'll quote directly from Air and Space Magazine, I quote, Mars experienced many wet, dry, and freeze thaw cycles, which are critical for concentrating organic compounds. You toss all those things together and we got ourselves a potential life salad. Now, obviously this isn't a clear indication that this was necessarily the case. There is still a lot of research and work that needs to be done before we start jumping to conclusions and realize that all along, we've been fearing ourselves. Just looking in the mirror like, aliens are gonna come kill us, you're the alien. It's you, you've been the alien all along. It's also quite possible that we discover life forms which are brand new to us, or should I say, alien. However, just because something would appear to come from Mars doesn't necessarily mean it would have originated there. Are you guys ready for the biggest curveball of the century? What if it's mutated human bacteria that made its way to Mars during one of our missions? That is something that researchers and scientists are actively afraid of and desperately try to prevent. However, as we know, it's impossible to send a spacecraft to Mars without any bacteria from Earth joining for the ride. Despite best efforts, such as the process in which they build the crafts, cleaning each piece before attaching, and using rooms with air filters, it seems some microbes just won't budge. So now we go from life originated on Mars, then came to Earth, to life originated on Earth, we explored Mars for new life, accidentally left some bacteria there, and then somewhat artificially created life on Mars. Accidentally, but still accidentally and artificially. Now the issue with that is cross-contaminating planets. If this were to happen, unfortunately, it would make it incredibly difficult for us to understand what Mars was originally like prior to us bringing our Earth germs and bacteria to it. So they try to limit this as much as possible, but as previously mentioned, it's nearly impossible. Usually it's the opposite that occurs in Hollywood movies, where someone or something from space takes over the living organisms on Earth, AKA humans. But this is the real world and things just ain't that exciting. So we gotta make them exciting by yelling aliens Baby, let's go! Going back to finding life on Mars, well, if we did find what appeared to be alien life on Mars, 
Initially, that would be very exciting. However, if we were to eventually find out it was just bacteria that had come from Earth and took over the natural bacteria of Mars, that would be a pretty big letdown. Now, a very exciting possibility is that we do find some form of ancient life on Mars, whether it be in the form of fossils or other signs that prove this theory. Of course, this doesn't necessarily mean we would find living aliens or an intelligent species. Yet any sort of sign that lends belief at one point, hundreds of millions or even billions of years ago, a species of any kind was able to thrive on Mars would be a very exciting sign. Not only would this potentially increase funding on the exploration of Mars, but it may lead us to learn even more about the evolution of Earth, humans and space in general. As would be the case with any breakthrough discovery, especially on another planet, if we're able to say for certain that we found evidence of alien life on Mars, I think that would be a massive win for the scientific community. High fives all around guys, good job. As we can see, these things take a very, very long time, usually decades. So even if we found a sign, we likely wouldn't find any life-changing evidence immediately, but even a sign would be incredible. Now to wrap up, let's just go down the rabbit hole and say we find a thriving intelligent species living on Mars. We're talking a full society of aliens, whatever that may look like to you. Well, now the fun really begins. Given that as we've seen in the past, humans and their country's leaders are very competitive in nature, it would be incredibly interesting to see how things would potentially play out here. Would the entire world come together and try to establish contact with this new intelligent life form found on Mars? Or, much like the race to the moon, would each country try to prove to the world that they are the leader in travel, technology, and space communication, and try to establish some sort of contact with this newfound species? If the latter happened, we all know America would win this time, because we're the greatest country in the world! And I say that living in Canada, but just wanted to play in the whole patriotic 4th of July weekend, you know? Uh, beer and guns, America freedom! Anyways, guys, on that note, I want to wish you guys a very, very happy 4th of July weekend if you are celebrating. Hopefully soon we'll be celebrating Mars Day when we take over that planet and likely destroy it too. But until then, here's to America. As the days and weeks continue on, scientists are tirelessly working to understand the big red planet, such as why some instruments are finding methane gas, another potential sign of life, while others are not. It seems we've got a long way to go, so maybe it's best we don't find alien life on Mars anytime soon, because it may lead to some more problems and solutions in the future anyways. More questions than answers is what I'm getting at. For now, let's apply some comments from the video. WTF is up with Oumuamua, UFO report. Public freak out cringe said in five years from now, this guy will be remembered like that aliens meme guy from Ancient Aliens. Aliens, let's go! That's why I do it. Whenever, like when I first started talking about aliens, I was the aliens. Like I was pretty much, I don't wanna say mocking him because that's not very nice. I'll say, as they say, paying homage. Is that how you say it? Is it homage? Homage? Hom homage? Hom you guys get what I'm saying, tribute. Donnie Brookings said, it's just a rock. You sound like Charlie Brown, Donnie. Hey, I got this, I got this. I got a rock. Maybe it's not just a rock, Donnie. Maybe it's not. Golden King said, Mr. Spicy was truly spicy in this one, I'll tell you that. I try to make all the videos spicy for you guys. That's why I'm the spiciest host in the game, baby. Give me a little taste, lick my... Woo! Anyways, guys, that was really weird. I don't know why I did that. Oh, there goes my phone. All right, end of this one. Pepper's out, bye. I'm Jared, okay, I'm, bye.